So I'm gonna do this quick video, try to help you guys uh, reset your Netgear Wi-Fi extender. The reason for this is maybe if you have a power outage, your Wi-Fi extender goes out like mine does all the time. Um, sorry for the mess, it's already plugged in. Christmas lights are plugged in. This is the basic Netgear Wi-Fi extender. I believe it's model N300. Um, now to reset everything once it's plugged in like that, if you come to the top of the Wi-Fi extender, you see that little bad boy that says factory reset. That's what we're gonna do. Take basically a toothpick, put it into that little hole and hold it for about seven seconds. Now these lights already, it's starting to change. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I think it should be good. So let's go, let's go see what happens. And it should turn off, as you can see there. It's about to start resetting everything back to the factory default settings. From this end, we can leave this plugged in, let it do its thing for about two minutes and head over to the laptop. All right, so once you have uh, done that network default reset for the Wi-Fi extender, if you go back down here, look at your Wi-Fi networks, you can see I'm disconnected. Uh, this Jev is my main internet connection, but as of right now, as you can see, the Wi-Fi extender is not showing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a sec, let it reset completely, let it uh, show up down here. We'll try to reconnect there and set up everything from scratch. So as you can see now, just refreshing it, Netgear Extender shows up there. If you click here, connect, it is probably gonna tell us that additional information is required, AKA we need to set it up again because we have just reset it to the network default settings. Limited access, connected. Okay, that's the message that you're gonna get once everything is good to go. Click there, it's gonna take you to their website. And there you can reset the network adapter. The Wi-Fi extender, sorry, my apologies. Usually it should take you to this address just by itself. I don't know why this time it chose to use Firefox when my main uh, browser is Google Chrome. And it made me click that little thing here, the network login page as you saw. But regardless, it takes you to this, myWiFiEXT.com or myWiFiEXT.net. Now for some reason this is being super slow. I'm just gonna open up my Google Chrome and see what that does. See this address here. Oh, never mind. There we go. It's kicking in. Initially, it's going to take, it's going to go slow at first because the Wi-Fi extender has just been reset, right? So it's getting the connection back and all that good stuff. So new extender setup, pretty much the only choice we have. Click there. From here, it will take us to a page where I believe we can rename the uh, Wi-Fi extender name to what we want. We can set a password and um, we can choose the internet connection, basically this one, Jev, to extend the Wi-Fi onto the Wi-Fi extender. So we'll do that right now. The email I will use is my email, obviously. So I'll use that for the password. tell you guys cuz I don't want you jacking my Wi-Fi uh, for this what's the name doesn't matter okay my oldest brother's first name let's say Sasha what is your mother born let's say Pluto and then after you have filled out these basic security questions click next That password that I put in just, by, by the way, I just forgot that password I put in, that's gonna be your password for your Wi-Fi extender. And as you can see, it's taking a moment. Let it do its magic and we'll go to the next step.
seems to be taking its sweet time. We did have a power outage where I live a couple of days ago, so maybe everybody's surprisingly resetting their Wi-Fi extenders today. That could be the reason. It shouldn't be taking this long, but we'll bear with it. Okay, so after that page, it will take you to this page. Welcome to Netgear Genie. How would you like to use your extender? Now you have two options. You can use it as a Wi-Fi range extender, so you can connect it to your current network and have your Wi-Fi extend even further, or you can use it as an access point. For this video, what I wanna do is use it as a Wi-Fi range extender because I wanna extend my Wi-Fi. So we're gonna click on that and continue with the process. Now, when you get to this page, what it's doing, it's scanning the networks that are available near to you that you will be able to hook your Wi-Fi extender up to. So most likely the only search result we're gonna get is the internet, like my main internet connection, which should be Jev, J-E-V. And give it a second to finish scanning. So there's Jev. I don't know who has a 2.4 G internet in their Altima or, or what's going on, but regardless, that's the one we're using. So click there, click next. Okay, now it's gonna take you to this page. So if you're trying to connect to any, your Wi-Fi extender to any kind of internet, whether the internet has security or not, like a, a password, you might have to know the password. So obviously for our home internet, we have a password in there, our network key that I've set up, and I'm gonna put that in there. Click next, and this will allow the Wi-Fi extender, the Netgear N300 model, to be able to connect to our uh, internet and router and be able to use that product now as a Wi-Fi extender. So it's applying settings, can take up to a minute, give it some time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it's connected. We have privileges, all that good stuff. Now on this page, you can use uh, this box to name your Wi-Fi extender, whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it Jev under dash EXT extender. Um, as for the password, you can use a different password. You can use no password, which I do not recommend at all. Or you can use the same as your existing network password, which is what I'm gonna do. So click that, click next. Again, it's applying settings, can take up to a minute, so give it some time and let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we're set up basically now, we're done. Um, it tells us that this is the name of our Wi-Fi extender, that's the type of security, and that's the password to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi extender. I would suggest you write down this information if you need it, keep it in a safe spot in case you need it in the future. After you've got that, click the continue button, click continue, and I believe I should be already connected. Uh, I'm connected to the main one, so let's connect to the extender. It's giving me this message because I believe I did not connect the uh, extender first before I click continue, which is fine, don't bug out. And as you can see, we're connected there. So we will try to go to good old YouTube, see where that takes us. Now initially, like I said, the first couple of minutes after setting it up, your uh, internet speed on the Wi-Fi extender might not be like the fastest, the greatest, everything's still getting set up, right? But once you give it a couple of minutes, everything will start working fine, so. So going to YouTube over here, it's loading up, going a little slow. So YouTube has loaded. You can see all the cool videos. Uh, this is using my Wi-Fi extender connection. So everything's there. Just to double check, yeah. Um, just test another website. I guess we can type in whatever, facebook.com. See where that bad boy takes us. So yeah, as you can see, it's not very hard to uh, reset the Wi-Fi extender. It just takes a couple of minutes. Um, it also takes a couple of minutes initially after setting it up for the 
I would say Wi-Fi extender to like start running completely smoothly as it should. Initially when you set everything up for the first like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, things might be a little slower and then things will pick up. But um, as you can see, we've set it up. We're connected. That's YouTube. That's the extender network that we're on right now. And yeah, everything seems to load. Everything seems to work. So hope that helps you out. If you have any further questions, let me know and have a good day. Peace.